Now, if you fancy nabbing yourself a fresh new tablet, but your budget is tighter than a starfish's sphincter, you don't really have that many options, to be perfectly honest. You could grab yourself an Amazon Fire tablet, although they tend to be heavily focused on Amazon's own services like Prime Video, so if you don't use those, they're not much good. Otherwise, alternatively, Honor has just launched this bad boy here, the Honor Pad 8, for just 269 quid here in the UK. It'll do pretty much everything you need. Got a hearty bit of Android 12 action, a crisp 12-inch display, eight speakers supporting DTSX Ultra, and double the storage of the cheapest iPad. Well, that's more than enough waffle. Let's whip the Honor Pad 8 on out of the box, take you on a full-on tour, and for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So first up, what do you actually get in this big old box? Well, you've got a large black rectangle, aka the Honor Pad 8, tasty bit of Type-C USB action, and a somewhat surprisingly and charmingly dinky on a supercharger adapter, which apparently tops off at 22.5 watts. And that's your lot, some truly thrilling stuff indeed. So first of all, you can't help but be impressed by the skinniness of the Honor Pad 8, just 6.9 millimeters thick. And despite the fact it's a 12 inch monster, it weighs just a fleece bollock over half a kilo. Reasonably skinny bezels surrounding that mighty display, as you can see there, so not much space wasted at all. And of course, at this sort of price point, probably not a massive shock to learn that the rest of the tablet is constructed from plastic. That placky rear stretching around the edges as well. Please ignore this bit of gunk here. There was a sticker there, and of course, that's left its residue. I'll have to properly attack that later. The Honor Pad 8 does just come in the one colour option, this one right here, which is called Blue Hour for some reason. May as well call it Blue Balls for all the sense that that makes. It's very simple, straightforward design, just a tiny bit of Honor brand and slapped right there in the very center. When you are clutching the Honor Pad 8 in landscape mode, like so, you've got speakers basically down the left and the right edges. On this right edge, you'll also find a Type-C USB port. And then up top, you've got a volume rocker and a power button. And that's your bally lot. Sadly, there's no headphone jack on here to speak of. No SIM tray or micro SD memory card slot or anything like that. So yep, definitely very simple, straightforward stuff. Now the software running on the Honor Pad 8, not too surprising. It is good old Android 12, but you do have Honor's own Magic UI 6 launcher slathered on top. And if you're not familiar with Honor and Magic UI, this basically just adds a bunch of extra features on top of Android. So you've got all the standard Android 12 stuff like good old privacy tools. You've got your digital well-being, all these other bits. But then on top of all that, Magic UI adds some extra customization, for instance, so you can quickly and easily change up some themes, stick a bit of magazine on lock on. This just changes up the image that's displayed on your lock screen every time you hit that power button. And Magic UI also comes with its very own assistant, Yo-Yo, uh, which, to be perfectly frank, is a bit pants, but do not worry because you do still have good old Google Assistant on here as well. Thank Christ. I'm on it to serve. And thankfully, you don't get a massive amount of crapware chucked on here that you then have to subsequently uninstall, just the likes of booking.com, can most definitely buggerwriteoff.com. A couple other bits, but most of the stuff on here is Google's own apps, of course, and just the stuff that I've installed myself. A few extra bits, like your system manager, which just allows you to see the state of your tablet at any time. You can clean up any old files, do a quick virus scan, etc. And on the storage side, you've got 128 gigs of space on there. Most of that taken up currently with Genshin Impact, bloody thing. But even with Genshin Impact installed, I've still got over 80 gigs of space to play with. And unfortunately, just like Apple's iPads, you can't expand that space with micro SD memory cards. You're just gonna have to delete old stuff when you finally fill up that space. And there's no LTE or 5G support here. You can't stick a SIM card in to get connected wherever you roam. But the Wi-Fi connectivity so far, no worries whatsoever for streaming, for downloading. Seems reliable, even at a good range from your router. Now stuck away just above the Honor Pad 8's mighty 12-inch display is a 5 megapixel front-facing camera. And pretty basic stuff. Just picture, you know, your laptop's webcam and you'll probably be in the general vicinity as far as the quality and everything is concerned. Still, it'll do the job for your Skype and Microsoft Teams and Zoom and whatever it is you happen to do. And the audio pickup's absolutely fine using the tablet's built-in microphones. And you also, for some bloody reason, have a 5 megapixel rear camera on the Honor Pad 8 as well. Not really sure what you're going to be using this for. Possibly taking videos and gigs and blocking everyone's view like a complete dimwit. Now that sizable 12 inch display is your basic LCD effort, it's not OLED technology or anything like that as you would expect at this price point, but you've got a 2000 by 1200 pixel resolution so visuals are nice and sharp. Viewing angles are proper wide so if you want to watch a bit of video with some of your besties well no worries there. 
And when I boosted the brightness all the way up to maximum levels, I had no problem seeing what was going on outdoors, even on quite a sunny day, as long as the sunlight wasn't reflecting directly off that shiny surface. Colors are reasonably poppy for this kind of display, and you can tweak the color temperature if you want to in the display settings. You've got the usual like comfort modes, all that shenanigans. And I am glad that that camera is housed in the actual bezel so it doesn't intrude on the action when you do go full screen. It is your basic 60Hz refresh screen, however, there's no 90Hz or 120Hz smoothness. And the MediaPad 8's media creds are further boosted by the fact you've got 8 speakers, 4 down the left edge, 4 down the right edge. And if I just bump up the volume. In city centres, for instance, you'll notice they've just got a kind of a grey haze come the end of the day. And mine picked up coffee stains and all kinds of stuff, but just give them a bit of a spit and polish and they'll be absolutely back to normal. It's a pretty powerful audio spaffing out of these things. Nice and crisp and clear, even on that top volume as well. So definitely impressive stuff, more than good enough for kicking back with some YouTube, some Netflix, in a kitchen, for instance, where there's lots of noise going on. You've got that full DTSX Ultra support for a more immersive audio experience. Sadly, no headphone jack here. On the Honor Pad A, we do have Bluetooth 5.1 wireless streaming support. So now let's have a shift to the performance, and the Honor Pad 8 is powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 680 chipset, which is a perfectly capable SoC. I've seen a couple of little stumbles here and there, but overall things do run smoothly, your apps load up pretty quickly and don't immediately get killed in the background either. If you're a benchmarking fan, well here's the Geekbench results, nothing particularly trouser rousing of course, especially when it comes to the single course score, but as I say, if you're web browsing, your media shenanigans, on a paddy it certainly won't struggle, but what about gaming? Well, the good news is that beyond the slight awkwardness of playing stuff like Call of Duty and Genshin Impact on a massive friggin' tablet, the overall experience is actually okay. Even the mighty Genshin Impact, which is quite a memory guzzler, played with a relatively smooth frame rate on the lowest possible detail settings, of course. Let's not go wild and crazy here. The likes of Call of Duty, PUBG, all that stuff can be handled by the Honor Pad 8 as well. And touchscreen's reasonably responsive and everything, but if your favourite games do support controllers, well, I would definitely say hook up one of those. Instead, it'll be a lot less, like, bleh. And I had no problems with the Honor Pad 8 overheating either. The Snapdragon chipset's pretty energy efficient, so if you want to get gaming all afternoon long, no worries. And the Honor Pad 8 can keep going all afternoon long as well because it's got a 7,250 mAh battery stuffed inside of it. And battery drain's pretty slow, helped along by the energy efficiency of that Snapdragon 600 series chipset. So if you want to stream video or even play games for hours and hours at a time, no worries at all. You won't have to reach for the charger halfway through the day. Certainly a good one for keeping the kiddie wings entertained on those long road trips. And that in a nutshell is the fresh new Honor Pad 8 Android tablet. And as you can see, quite a budget friendly affair, but you know, it's still got respectable performance on this thing. Pretty good looking 12 inch screen, some great audio spaffed out by this thing too. And not really many negatives, just some little bits here and there, like the lack of a headphone jack, for instance. Although I also wouldn't expect it to be super swift when it comes to OS and security updates. So what do you guys reckon? Are you tempted by the Honor Pad 8? It'd be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. Please do book subscribe, ding that notifications bell, all the usual YouTube shenanigans, and have yourselves a ruddy wonderful rest of the week. Cheers everyone. Love you.